All right, uh, today I'm going to discuss sodium intake or salt intake. And the reason is a lot of my clients have been asking all the time, can I have salt or should I watch my salt or I'm gaining weight because of salt and salt. It's like salt keeps coming up so many times and there's so many myths around it. So I'm going to get into that. Uh, just want to remind everybody, I am a coach. I uh, help people lose weight basically get in shape. So if you're interested, you know, send me a message or, or get in touch with me somehow, Facebook, Instagram. All right, so salt is really overrated in terms of the chances it's going to ha have any kind of harm done to you. In fact, having not enough salt is way more dangerous than having too much salt. So for example, if you took five times as much salt as the guidelines suggest that you take, which is about what I take every day, your health risks are way lower than if you had five times less salt than the recommended amount. So there's some serious problems that could occur if you don't eat enough sodium or salt. But to take in too much, your body, your kidneys, it's able to just get rid of it. You pee out extra salt if you take in too much salt. So there's only a few people that may, and not even have to, but might have to worry about sodium intake. And that's if you have already a pre-existing form of hypertension, like high blood pressure, you already have it from birth, it's a genetic thing. Um, or maybe if you have diabetes. So if you are one of these people, you're already talking with your doctor, and you already have a plan, and you already know what you're doing. But for the regular folk, like you and me, you're just a workout person, it doesn't matter, okay? So the reason why salt or sodium, they, they kind of have this myth that it's gonna like kill you is because it potentially, people say it's gonna increase your blood pressure and blood pressure is like a huge, huge risk indicator for dying, okay? If you have high blood pressure, it's not good, okay? You wanna have normal blood pressure. So if it's high, that is bad luck and you need to do things to lower it. Um, Salt is not something that's really going to push that up. I mean, we're talking about one or two, like say you're 130 over 80 and you have a lot of salt and it's 132 over 80. It's not like, wow, it went way up. It's not steroids, okay? Sodium is not going to like potentially kill you or give you some freak hard, high blood pressure. It's just not that bad. What really messes up your blood pressure is gaining too much weight, okay? If you gain a lot of weight, you put on 20 pounds. I don't care if it's fat, like water, whatever. If you gain a lot of weight, it's not good for you. So those of you with high blood pressure, the first thing you should be trying to do is lose weight, okay? Lose weight. Don't worry about salt so much. Okay, uh, let's see. I wrote a few notes. So just basically, what, what does it benefit us, salt? Well, it helps from getting dehydrated, it helps you from cramping up, helps your muscles look full, it makes you stronger. So from a gym perspective or from anyone that's working out, if you eat more salt, you're gonna feel better in the gym. It's, gonna, it's good for you, in other words. A lot of people actually add extra salt to, to their meals just so they get that extra pump and extra fullness. If you ever do a show and you sodium deplete, like I have done, like you try to dry out and you cut your salt, you're gonna feel like super like weird, like your body is really just, ugh, it just has no strength. It feels like you feel all your tendons and you're, you're so dehydrated and you don't feel good and your strength is down, you could get injured. So people that are trying to like eat no salt all the time, this is a bad idea. You're gonna lose that size, strength, endurance, get more cramps, you're just not gonna feel good. It's not good for you. You need a certain amount of salt. So to eat at least two grams of sodium, like 2,000 milligrams, would be like a minimum. I mean, a normal amount would probably be three to four grams a day. Uh, you're supposed to take, according to the, like, the government, for example, whatever, 2,300. But if you take in 10,000, it's not a big deal. I have often go over that. So it's not, a, it's not gonna cause a serious problem. Um, okay. Oh, salt from the salt shaker versus in your food. It doesn't matter how you're getting your salt. Salt is salt. 
People make a big deal out of this salt or that salt. Or, oh, I don't ever use the table. I put a ton of sugar-free ketchup on my food. I use a ton of condiments like mustards and salad dressings. My sodium intake from the condiments I add on my food is insane. It's ridiculous. Like I probably eat like 500 calories a day from just junk like mustard and ketchup. Seriously. It's not good for me. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm eating that for my health, but I have a normal, balanced, healthy, overall good diet. I don't need to get stressed out about the tablespoons of ketchup that I'm putting on my whatever food I'm going to eat. And things like vegetables. If it's in a can, it's going to have a lot of salt. Anything in a can is a ton of salt. It doesn't mean it's bad for you. It's not like, oh, I had a can of peas. Oh, you should have had regular peas from the garden, not in a can. Nah, it doesn't matter. It's still peas. Like, it's not a big deal. You put the bouillon stuff to make your rice like I do, tons of salt. I'm adding thousands of milligrams in that pot, and it doesn't matter. So really, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I guess I can end it there, just overall, just to sum up. Don't worry about how much salt you're eating. Eat as much of it as you want. You're not going to die from it. It's not going to cause some serious blood pressure problem. And just enjoy. It doesn't have calories. It's not going to make you fat. And I guess a lot of the clients, they ask and they say, well, I had a lot of salt today, so that's why I'm heavy now. It's like, no, you ate a lot of junk food with salt in it, and that's why you're fat, or that's why you gained weight. It's not salt that's making you fat. Salt has no calories. It doesn't make you fat. In the short term, it might make you hold a little bit of water, but then your body's going to pee it out. That's just how it works. It's just like a normal part of life. So don't think, oh, I'm always heavy because I always eat a lot of salt. No, you're always heavy because you eat too many calories, okay? Carbs, you're going to store more water than sodium ever will. So if you're glycogen loading and you're eating a lot of rice or whatever, then the water in the glycogen in your muscles is going to make you gain more weight. But it's water weight, so don't even worry about it. Anyway, let's talk to you next time.